you're kind of nervous. It's kind of like the day before you come to the Citadel, you don't know what to expect, you don't know what's ahead of you. So you're a little apprehensive, but when you wake up and once you get downstairs and you start the PT, you're like, all right, I'm in it, there's nothing I can do to get out of it. So let's just roll through and hopefully this will be over soon. Um, from there, they come back. They about 7:30. They have breakfast. Their last breakfast as a class, um, and after breakfast is done, now they have to go and sit in a classroom. The time in the classroom is uh, really significant because. That classroom is what you use. It was your battalion classroom through uh, the first week you were there. And it's really meaningful because it's just you and your battalion commander and your classmates. And with that leadership, that, um, that guidance, you go out to the gauntlet um, shortly thereafter. And that gauntlet, you get to show again, hey, listen to me. This is where we are. This is our day. Down, up. Down, up. You know, you think that you're done when you finish one station, you're like, you know, push harder and p harder the upper class for the time, and you're going as hard as you can. And then once that horn goes, you're like, I hope that's the horn to get up for the run and run back to the tie-ins. But then, and now we got another station to go to, and another, 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 and you're just like, how many are there? So you're completely exhausted, and you know, it's, you're like, when is this going to be over? But at the same time, um, you're thinking, you know, I'm one station ahead of what I was on um, the last station. And you, that's what keeps driving you, and you keep thinking, you know, once we form this run, it's the last thing we do together as knobs. It's done when it's all said and done, and you're exhausted and you're tired. You go back to the barracks, and, and you run as a class to say we're, we're freshmen no more. For example, I was from 3rd Battalion, and when we'd run, we'd run in front of the other battalions. And what we would see is when we ran by and we'd look in the battalions and we see there was towels out and we saw our classmates were already starting their class sets and their upperclassmen pulling them up and like, you know, if I can make it to that and uh, if I can make it to that moment of where they're, you know, they're encouraging you, helping you and you're about, that's the last thing you have to do, um, then I'll go through this last few minutes of just pain, so. That one person that helps you along the way is someone that means a lot to you and someone that you'll never forget. And it's a moment you'll never forget for the rest of your life. And when I look back, the person that did it for me meant a lot to me. That was really one of the highlights of recognition day was that last class set that they did with you. Then you're let go. You're told while you're there as a class, united, holding hands, it's over. Um, you've completed the first step. It really meant a lot to me because I spent a lot, to t a lot of time writing those words because to me it was an honor. It meant a lot to me because in the beginning, um, during uh, Hell Night, the first night before the fourth class system was in effect, um, the speech I wrote was, you know, you're going to have a lot of challenges ahead of you, a lot of obstacles, but um, what's ahead of you um, can be accomplished. You know, it's, it doesn't matter how strong you are, how smart you are, it's um, your will and how much you want it. And then from there, you, you get together again and, and you eat and now it's, it's a more relaxed environment. Uh, you know people by first names now, and you know there there isn't this rigid atmosphere. The shaking of the hands is uh, it's a little more than you know I'm shaking your hand. You know it's nice to meet you. It's like um, I've been that guy yelling at your ear for the past nine months, telling you that um, you, you know you're a knob, you're lower than dirt. But um, it's more a significance as you're looking them in the eye and uh, you're telling them you know congratulations, I recognize you as no longer being a knob, as being a cadet at the Citadel, and you're no longer having to abide by the fourth class system. 
And to me, it really meant a lot because the night before, I went around and recognized all the knobs in all five battalions. And um, I washed my hands about five times after because I felt like you know, I'd shaken so many hands. But it really meant a lot to me because I wanted to you know, shake all their hands and let them know and congratulate them for what they accomplished this year. After that whole day, you're like, oh, I gotta do this. You know, it's just a blur, it's still hot, and you gotta march Marion Square. And when you get there, you see all these people, and you say, wow, you know, this is something bigger than me as an individual. And you look at the old Citadel, and you, you think, you know, there's so much history that's that I wasn't aware of. You know, we had to learn the God on, we had to learn the tradition of the Citadel, but now we're actually living it. We're actually putting our right hand up there and retaking an oath um, that hundreds, thousands of people have before we have, and it's something bigger than ourselves. So that's just the bond that um, is formed over here. It's forged and it's unbreakable. It's something you'll carry on, um, not only for the rest of your cadet career, but for the rest of your life as well.